I was just really excited when I touched the wall and it took me a couple of seconds to realize that that one was beside my name, but I was really excited. Um, it's a best time by a whole second. I mean, I, I think everyone always wants to go faster and that's the name of the game, but I'm really excited. I, you can't be unhappy with the best time. Coming into this meet, what was your goal? Were you planning on winning or were you hoping to get top three or what was your goal? Um, coming into the meet, I mean, NCAAs is one of the most unpredictable competitions out there. I mean, I think it's really simple from looking at this meet. And I was just coming in and I was just excited to race and I just wanted to get best times and I wanted to score points for my team. And no matter what place that was, I just wanted to do it for the team. Indiana has a very strong backstroke tradition with Eric Rest and um, training there right now. And uh, it's just such a dynamic group. I'm at Big Tens. We took four out of the top eight, uh, five out of the top eight finishes in the 200 back. And there's just such a great training atmosphere. And it's hard not to train your hardest every day when you have so many people to compete with. Um, I just wanted to go. This morning I kicked a little too hard on my first 50, and that kind of killed me for the rest of the race. So I just wanted to go out easy speed, and then I was just trying to do 350s descend. I really haven't got a chance to look at my splits, but I just wanted to do that first 50 easy, and then I just wanted to hit a split and just keep going and then see what I had left on the last 50. Backstrokes are really competitive, and it's really young, and it's just more motivation to train harder each day because there's just so many girls out there and you never know what you're going to get and it's so unpredictable. So, What are your plans for the summer? Are you looking at Pan Packs? Yeah, I actually have a week back in Bloomington and then I go to Canadian Trials and try out for Pan Packs and Commonwealth so I'm really excited for that. What a big day for the Hoosiers. Um, you know, we started off the night with the 1650 freestyle and had Lindsey Vrooman break the Big Ten record in the mile with just a phenomenal swim. And what made it even more special is she's not been feeling well all week long. And, you know, just the kind of heart that Lindsey Vrooman gives is, is so very impressive to us. And she's really the heart and the soul of, of her team. And, and then to go into the 200 backstroke and have Brooklyn Snodgrass, you know, from lane two, just tear out into the lead on the second 50, you know, put herself in position on the third 50, and then just, you know, boy, she was chugging into the wall on the last few strokes and, you know, for the win by just a few one hundredths of a second over what I think is one of the best backstroke fields that, that has been assembled. And uh, just a wonderful NCAA championship from Brooklyn. Well deserved, you know, she works super hard. In terms of Brooklyn and that 200 backstroke, what are, what are her plans in the next few years? Is she shooting for Rio at all? Or? She sure is. Um, she's actually going right back to work um, next week, and we're going to do yeah. kind of a mixture of long course and short course. And then on Sunday, she takes off for Canadian Commonwealth Trials um, to try to make their Pan Pack team and the Canadian Commonwealth team. And um, I will travel from Austin, Texas, at, from men's NCAAs to Victoria, and I'll be with the, our Canadian contingent there and we got a couple other swimmers so that'll be the next thing and so it's up in a week we're going to try to make some international teams and uh, you know I think we're going to finish 12th in the country which is a, a wonderful accomplishment for this team wasn't the easiest meet but we fought so hard and really super proud of my team. Well wonderful congratulations on a great meet. Thank you very much.